Hello guys, um, today I will be um, showing you a tutorial. It is my first tutorial and it will be over how to make a Minecraft server. This is not, I will not be showing you the uh, port forwarding part. Um, you can look that up somewhere else and, or maybe later on I will make my own video of it. But um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, start by, you know, making a new folder. Name it, you know what, anything. I'll just name it tutorial. After you get this, go to your internet browser and go to minecraft.net. When you're at minecraft.net, it's the main place, main Minecraft website. Go under where it says buy now, under play the demo, and under play Minecraft, there is a download button. Click that download button. You will see a drop down, not a drop down, but like a whole a list of stuff, and you go under multiplayer server. And if you are running a Windows computer, you get this link right here. But if you are running anything else like the Mac OS or whatever, you would get this, and it's a lot more difficult, I heard. But I got Windows, so I'm on the download this. So, um, yeah, so after this is done downloading, you'd show it. After you got it, you just open up your tutorial or your vid your server and you just drag it on in there. You can close that out now. And since you know I already downloaded it, downloaded it before, I'm just gonna delete this after it. After you have it in here, you want to uh, run it. Whenever it runs, you'll notice it has a whole bunch of fail to load and stuff because it is generating these files that we did not have before. Right now it's preparing the spawn area, and it is done. You can say stop, saving the chunks. Try to uh, say stop uh, more than just like closing it out, because stopping it actually saves the chunks uh, safely, instead of uh, taking the chance of actually screwing up your server. Well, now you've pretty much got your server, and the port forwarding part I said would be in another video. But I'll take this time now to uh, open this up and explain this stuff. I am opening this up with a Notepad++. Plus Plus. Uh, the link will be in the description. Um, so this is um, this will not allow the Nether pretty much. This is you just keep this the um, the same because it's your world. Uh, enable query, query, and eh, queer. Um, allow flight, it allows people to fly on your server. This is your uh, server port, so Minecraft is 25565. The level type is default. Enable Archon, I'm not very sure what that is. The level seed, if you have a specific seed that you want your map to play, you can put that in there. Your server IP would be your IPv4 address, as in if you went down here to your, uh, you type in, in your start CMD. And then you type in here, IP config, just like that, and you'd click this, scroll up, and you'd get your IPv IPv4 address right here. And mine's 192.168.16.64, yours would be different, and that's what you'd copy into your server IP, you can just close that out. Your max build height would be 256, because that's the max. Spawn NPCs, that's like NPC villagers if you want to spawn those. Whitelist, that is if you want to have your server where they have to actually make an application and stuff and you have to accept them, you can set that to true. Spawn animals, if you want animals to spawn, set that. False, well, hardcore, that's if you die. You can have like a limit to join back in, like hardcore mode. If you die, you lose that server. Texture pack, if you want a certain texture pack for your server, you can put that in there. Online mode, this is if you want uh, people that haven't actually bought Minecraft, if you want the want them to play, 
you can set this to false and they'll be able to pvp if you want people to be able to fight each other you can set that there default difficulty that's um one is easy zero is peaceful two is me uh normal and then three is hard i'm pretty sure game mode zero is a uh, survival mode uh one is creative and two is adventure max players this is um if how many people you'd want in your server at once spawn monsters if you want monsters to spawn you put that generate structures as in npc villages uh in the sand the sand castles and all that if you want that you can put that as true view distance that's how far you can see on your server 10 is the not the max you can set it as much as you want and then this is the message of the day you set this every day as what you want or you can keep it the same no matter what it doesn't matter that's what you'd put there and uh, that's pretty much it you can just close that out and whenever you want you can go and look up a server on how to port forward you because I'm not doing port forwarding because I basically I could have a different modem than you all and it's just very complicated and just you gotta find out your modem type and look up a video on how to port forward with that modem or router um, so yeah that's pretty much it of the, for this tutorial. If you want, you can you know just start start it, and then your server will be up, and you use your IPv4. Oh yeah, well I about forgot. Um, other people can uh, find and get on your server by going to ipchicken.com. You go there, and that's the IP you would give everybody else. You keep your IPv4 in the server properties, and that's the that's the IP you would use for yourself. Your IPv4, but for other people, like your friends, you'd give you go to IP IPChicken.com. It'll be in the description, and that's the IP that you give to your uh, friends and stuff. That's how they'd be able to get on after you have it running. Oops. Uh, so yeah, if you all like this tutorial, because I'm pretty sure it was very good, you can um, hit that subscribe button and that like button, you know, and uh, comment below and uh, give me some feedback. That way, you know, I can uh, edit it um, in the future. So, if you guys liked my video, just uh, like it, subscribe, and, uh, well, see you guys.